Now, a recent report has highlighted that some second-hand cars are being sold for more than they cost brand new, with some five-month-old models reaching £10,000 above the forecourt price. According to an article in The Telegraph this week, the price increases are due to a shortage in supply of new vehicles. The pandemic has caused disruption in the manufacturing chain, particularly among the chips used for in-car electronics, which control all the operating systems. As well as the lockdown disruption for the manufacturing process, the chips are also in record demand as people in lockdown purchase huge numbers of games consoles. The Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders forecasts that there would be 2.4 million new cars in the UK this year, but now there's only going to be an estimate of about 1.8 million. So it's greatly reduced. <laughs> to discuss this issue further, we are joined by motoring expert and founder of the Hire More Car website, Jeremy Feening. Morning, Jeremy. So look, extraordinary that car prices, some of them have gone up by 52% in the last year. What's happening? Well, there's, it's not... Um... It, it's a strange link between, obviously, the new car sales, which generate second-hand cars, part exchanges, and also there's been a number of other factors that have occurred. Um, there has been some, you mentioned about this, this massive uh, increase in price on used vehicles, premium vehicles, um, such as Land Rover, Jaguar products, for example, um, and they've had some, you know, must-have vehicles appear, which people desperately wanted. Um, and as you said, there's the lack of supply due to the sort of perfect storm of shortage of silicon chips. But just before that, we had a situation where the new car manufacturers were building um, dual fuel vehicles. The government telling everybody that they should be buying electric and customers wanting diesel. Um, now the situation that we're in at the moment um, is that we've also got a number of other factors where we've got organizations like Cinch who've moved into the used car market to, which are, to disrupt it, if you like, um, which have taken over from the used car supermarkets who had, who had dominated the sector. The other factor also is that there's the, 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 they are a different buyer. The person who buys a used car is not the person, is not motivated uh, by the same uh, decision making as someone who buys a new car. Um, very much a used car purchase is a distress purchase. It's very much that, you know, my car is broken down, I'm fed up with having to repair it, it needs major repairs, I will rush out now and get a used car. Um, so that makes for a very volatile marketplace. And with this shortage of supply and with organizations um, who are sourcing vehicles through auctions, prices are just going to go higher and higher. But, uh, and I think there is a very big but, is that this is probably a short-term effect. Um, because we, we live in an age of, of, of mass production, it will probably be by the time we get into the first and second quarter of next year that the new car manufacturers will ramp up production to a point where there will be availability on new and then used cars will begin to drop and of course they might drop quite rapidly. But we know, Jeremy, in the last month, and I have to say, I, I, I'm not somebody who buys a second-hand car because it's some sort of distress purchase. Yeah. It's about affordability, <laughs> what I can afford, what I can get, and I, I can choose and who I think it, it's a good car. But in the last month alone, some second-hand cars have gone up by nearly £1,000. So there is obviously pressure there. I've got the list. A Jaguar XK has gone up by 52% in the year, now selling at about £28,000. These are the top three cars, Hyundai i30 up 38% to 12k, uh, Mazda MX-5 up 34.1% to 12.5k. We've got in a strange position where some of these prices, which would ordinarily have gone down, have gone up for some of the reasons uh, that you say. But equally interesting, some of the quickest cars to sell, which fits into some of your answers there, diesel is the fastest to sell followed yes. by petrol next, hybrid next, and actually electric cars are the slowest to sell. So what are the public saying about cars? Well, 
the, the, the used car historically, the used car buyer is a conservative purchaser, conservative with a small C, I hasten to add. But he, he you know, they they will be very uncertain and, and, and very cautious about new technology. This is how the, the used car buyer has always behaved. And and um you know, it is because the, there is still a fear of the range with electric cars. That's the underlying problem we encounter all the time with, with uh, leasing and contract hire on vehicles is that, you know, their, their government has failed to roll out, really, the infrastructure that will reassure people that they can have a vehicle with a much shorter range than a diesel vehicle. Um, and, of course, the, Jeremy, I you know, the reliable... I want to Sorry. thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning.